are often tall, lean, and very, very lanky in that way, very, very emaciated. But their mind is very sharp. The main genius of Coffee or Child is they are very excited. They are very cheerful. Always, always there is a kind of a cheerful vibe in them. They are very loquacious. And the most important genius of, look, of, of Coffee or Child is their mind and body are constantly active. So their hand and feet are always restless and their mind is also very, very active. Oh, it's too many thoughts going on in their mind. They may not be able to tell you, but it's like too many thoughts and that's why, you know, they are more prone to developing such kind of behavioral disorder, autistic behavior, ADHD and so on. Coffee children, how to study a coffee cruda child is what I'm going to share with you. Coffee cruda are one of the most sharpest children in homeopathy. They are, they are, their senses are very sharp. You see so many competitions in today's time for children. I don't know if they are very popular in Russia. I know that many Russian kids are into chess and, and grandmasters. I think I think much much before the age of 10, if I'm not wrong. But I've heard and read about it. This requires a very sharp mind. This requires a very sharp memory. It requires very sharp kind of uh, reaction senses. Many of these young child geniuses may be, may be, they are not all coffee, but they may be coffee because this coffee child is, is, has a very sharp memory. The memory is very active. What they might have read three years, five years back, they have a picturesque memory, it will just come directly to them. Sharp memory, ladies and gentlemen. Coffee or Kuda. All senses are very acute for coffee. What the coffee may, may hear, in, the coffee child can actually hear a noise which is there in another room. They can actually smell the food substance which is like about so much far away from them. It's very sharp senses. So for example, all these, you know, we have this spell B competitions where you have to remember the spellings or all these kind of uh, different quiz competitions. Many of these children who are very sharp may be coffee children in them. And now that you know about coffee or children, you will start seeing that many of your patients, your children, your family members, their relatives, many children require coffee in today's times. It is also interesting because everywhere across the world there is Starbucks, there is Cafe Coffee Day, many coffee shops and many mothers and fathers before during pregnancy are constantly drinking coffee, maybe cappuccino, maybe cafe latte, different different coffees. Even you can see their sensitivities are, are going towards the excitability of coffee. The whole generation is going towards the coffee. Many many children may require coffee. The senses are sharp not just to smell or noise but to even emotions. There is a very beautiful symptom in our growing can read fine print more distinctively. So, you know, the coffee child can read, can see the bus coming from very far. He can tell, okay, this bus, okay, there is a bus coming and you look there and you say, we can't see anything, but his senses are so sharp that the vision is more sharper. They can read very, very small print very easily. If there is something written on the paper, you know, normally you will not be able to see if the prints are very small, but he can very quickly kind of pick it up. This, this, this kind of very sharp senses is something you will see with coffee. 
इट्स अ वेरी ब्यूटिफुल रेमेडी टू स्टडी इन जनरल You will also see the coffee of children to be very witty, very witty. They can back answer very fast. They can joke very fast. To for someone to be witty, the mind has to be fast. The mind has to be sharp. That's why most witty children are coffee or lachesis or spider or sulphur. or opium or some more remedies like that very witty and they have a very sharp sense of humor you should remember that coffee is there in the rubric quick to act there is a rubric quick to act in kent repertory coffee is one of the biggest remedy so all their responses reactions are fast it is an impulsive remedy but the reactive the pace of the remedy it's a very fast paced remedy coffee cuda i told you that you know there are certain remedies which are fast paced they are tubercular miasm coffee is at the deeper level belong to the tubercular miasm many many children whom you give tubercular you know may actually require coffee cuda we may give tubercular due to lack of our knowledge or maybe not clear study of the child coffee cuda children are always on a lookout for something new something to excite them they constantly want some stimulation or else they are very they become dull so the parents constantly have to show them something on the phone oh look at this look at this video look at this phone oh look at this water look at this chocolate look at the thing on the television the parents have to constantly give them new experiences for them to be stimulated because the only thing that that really makes them happy is stimulation for coffee children are you all getting an idea of what how the coffee child looks how the patterns are of coffee child and there can be different patterns not all coffee children are like this there are different layers but prime of ac are you getting an idea you can say yes so i know okay some of them are very beautiful okay the coffee children and young children you know they are very sensitive to the idea of creativity to art to nature they love the idea of creativity any kind of art form music piano painting pottery coding games video games there is a young artist a young creator inside coffee cuda because they can feel and experience beauty at a much deeper level they can experience it at a much much sensory level their senses are very sharp so they can feel things more deeper they can experience things more quicker and that's why they can create things at a much deeper level there is a very beautiful rubric in kent repertory of coffee cuda charmed with description of beauties of nature you can see this that's the you know they are very uh, sensory to the idea of nature they want they want an attachment to nature they they want that rainfall that they will keep feeling that rain they keep feeling the snow they keep feeling the entire uh, uh, kind of a wind but also what you may see in 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 coffee cuda